I am Mr. 23 and in today's tutorial I'm going to teach you how to replace the colors in a picture. For example, in this photo I want to change the colors of the shirt and the jeans into those colors. Moving on, in this photo I want to change the colors of her bathing suit into those one. Now I want to change the color of his shirt like this. And in the final example this white dress becomes this color. Okay, first example is really easy. Uh, we want to select the shirt, the t-shirt. We um, take this uh, quick selection tool by pressing W and uh, just select the shirt. Um, let's zoom in. As you can see, we need to adjust the, the selection a bit. Take the lasso tool. Uh, if you hold Alt, it will subtract the selection. Yeah, and if you hold shift, it will add to the selection. Right now, we don't need to hold shift because we only want to subtract. All right, zoom out and now just select Q and saturation. And as you can see, it did a mask on the selection that we just uh, did. Now, if you want to change the color, it's really easy. Just play with the hue. It's that simple. If you want, you can choose colorize and it's, uh, it applies the effect even better. So we started with uh, this uh, color and now we have this color. So it, that is that easy. If you want, you can change the color of it jeans also. So go on the bottom layer again, take the quick selection tool by pressing W and just select. Now if you zoom, as I said, take the lasso tool and hold shift now because we want to add this to the selection. All right. Also you want to subtract, so hold alt. Okay. Also hold shift here. Okay. And now I think we have a good selection. We do the same step. Press the adjustment layers, choose hue and saturation, and now if you move the slider or press colorize, it will change the color of his jeans. So we um, let's group those adjustment layers into a group, press the group. And now if you unhide this, hide, you see this is the original picture, this is after. So I think it looks really nice. Okay, now let's move on to another example. We have um, a picture of a girl in a bathing suit. So if you want to select the bathing suit, uh, I suggest to use the pen tool, which does a really nice job. So I will speed up the process with the pen tool and uh, at the end we'll have a selection. After you finish with the pen tool, just press A, this uh, path selection tool. And because we have uh, different areas of selection, you see, we have this one, also this one. Uh, they are not in, uh, in one group. You, we select them all with the uh, path selection tool and then right click and just press make selection. Okay, now that we have our selection ready. Um, Let's press again Q and saturation and as you can see we already have the mask apply on the adjustment layer. Now we can easily change the color from here but I prefer to use colorize because if we zoom in colorize also applies uh, the color to the shadows and the light. If you don't use uh, colorize it will change only the hue and uh, I, I really don't want that. So we choose colorize. Then the next step is to choose multiply. And now we can ch uh, change the colors again, increase the saturation 
and uh, as you can see it looks really really nice this is the after and this is the before you can change and into any color you want yeah i think this looks really nice we move on to this example we can now use the quick selection tool just select the shirt we'll need to adjust the selection a bit afterwards now let's zoom in to see the parts that were selected good or not take the lasso tool and now as you can see we need to adjust a bit the selection so we need to add the this part into the selection so hold shift and just add it to the selection hold alt to subtract this part and now hold shift to add parts of the selection okay i think we're done let's zoom out now we do the same step just choose hue and saturation and you can easily change the color if you is colorize i think it will be much better so this is after as you can see if we zoom in we can still find some uh, uh, parts of the blue shirt as was in the original picture so now take the brush tool press b and you can um, paint with white make the brush smaller you can paint with white here let's uh, make the flow to 100 percent so you can see better so we can paint the parts that weren't selected that good okay here and another thing that i want to show you as you can see the picture has some bluish uh, shadows because the original shirt was blue so what we can do now we can uh, um, apply this brush on the shadows also but we need to lower the flow to a very very small number so now okay let me finish here okay set the flow to five percent and now make the size bigger of the brush and just paint on the shadows that were blue before okay and now a nice thing about this is that if we change the color of the shirt by using Q and saturation the shadows will be changed also so not only the uh, shirt let me show you we still have here um, a part that we missed all right let's zoom out so now as you can see the shirt has those uh, shadows that now matches the shirt and if we change the color it will change also the shadows all right so this is another example of how to change a color of a shirt for example now let's move on okay so in the final example we have uh, this uh, white dress let's zoom in by pressing ctrl and plus or command or plus and uh, take the quick selection tool by pressing w select the shirt okay and now let's make a few adjustments take the lasso tool zoom in and add hold by holding shift this part that we missed when we use the quick selection all right and also this part by holding shift it doesn't have to be perfect because you might have uh, another uh, photo and you might spend more time with it so we are quickly selecting all those parts that were missed and now hold alt to subtract the hand that we don't want in the selection just go on the sides of the hand don't worry if the arm is not really selected because you can always press shift and add the parts that you don't want inside all right hold alt okay this is it so now zoom out 
we follow the same steps, press on the adjustment layers, choose hue and saturation. And now, as you can see, if we use uh, already the colorize, it uh, changes the colors. Depending on your uh, result, final result, you can use uh, normal mode or you can change to multiply or even color. Okay, so uh, in this example, we can, um, depending uh, on what we want, we can use multiply, for example, and change it to this color. All right, so this is the original. This is uh, with this bluish greenish color cyan. All right, so now, as you can see, the original photo has some uh, white um, shadow on the water. So what we can do now, it's uh, pretty easy. Take the brush tool by pressing B. All right, and uh, let's change the brush because if we paint, we have this hard brush and we don't want that. So we need to change the brush into a soft one and lower the opacity, the flow, sorry, to something like 5%. And now if you uh, draw on the water, as you can see, it already does that shadow that we uh, have on the dress. Uh, so if you change the color of the dress, it changes the color of the shadow in the water. So depending on what you want, you can uh, uh, use this color, for example. So this was the tutorial from today. I hope you like it. If you do, please subscribe to my channel. See you next time.